So a simple way of storing data is just storing data in a text file. So imagine we have data in a text file. Data in a text file. And um, so how, how to load load data from text files into MATLAB. Yeah, so MATLAB, MATLAB is able to load data from text files if they're space separated, if the values are space separated. So if we have a data file, data file, so if we have here, for example, 12, 17, 20, and then let's say 13, 16, 21. Yeah, so the data is separated by, by spaces. Then MATLAB is just loading, loading this with a, if you just load this with a load command. into MATLAB, then this turns into a, into a matrix. So let's do this. So let's just um, load a file, which I've already here on the hard drive called ecg.dat. So if I do this, there's not much happening here. So it's just loading this. Let's have a look what is actually in, in ECGDAT, just a starting text editor, because we now it's just a text file. And so we see here, so we've got here in the first column data, this is counting upwards, one, three, five. So basically it's just probably just say, and that's a time in milliseconds or something like that. And then um, here we've got our real data here in column three, um, in column two, three, and four. So this is just going down here for quite a while and I can just scroll down here until this file ends. Okay, so um, so I've loaded this now into, into MATLAB, this file. So if I now type in just ECG, yeah, so without the dot, just this one here, then we see that this ECG.dat has turned into the matrix ECG. Yeah, so if I press a button here, just just do it again. So ECG, and this turns into a matrix called ECG. Yeah, so let's just write this write this down here. So if we have something like log load ECG dot DAT, then this turns into into the matrix ECG in MATLAB. That's a very, very simple and quick trick. So therefore, imagine we would like to now extract some data from this. So imagine we would like to, let's say, extract the third column here and take this data. Then uh, we know that we can write something like this. And this is extracting us the third column here from the data. Let's type Y. And so we see we have just extracted this column here. So if we want to plot this, just do a plot y, and um, then we see it's indeed, indeed something which is looking like an ECG. Let's just zoom in a bit here. And we see indeed there, there are some heartbeat-like peaks in this file. And so therefore, if you have data um, generated by a measurement program, export the data as space-separated values, and then then this data can easily be, be directly imported into MATLAB.